Um, with so many of the new Blu-ray discs becoming available, there's very few portable DVD players that will play the Blu-ray. And uh, if you're like me, you got a lot of Blu-rays and you're going on the road and your young fellow wants to watch a movie, these older style players will not play it. Even in the new cars that are coming out, they don't have a Blu-ray player in them, so you have to have a portable. I'm just going to go through an open box of the brand new GE portable Blu-ray player with a 10-inch screen. I want to see what it looks like inside. I haven't opened the box yet. And I'll go through it and check it out and see how it works. This one also has the strap for the back of the, the passenger seat back of the seat so the person can watch it in the back. Okay, I'll go through the box in a sec. This particular model, it plays the Blu-rays and the other DVD discs, DVDs as well. It has a HDMI output for use with TVs, four hour chargeable battery, stereo speakers, remote control, car and AC adapters, and Blu-ray profile bonus view. In case you're wondering, I got this device at Walmart. It was $198 plus tax, so $228 altogether. This is the contents of the box. There was a black pouch in a cardboard box. It just slips in the cardboard. And this is the pouch I presume is going to be for behind the car seat. I didn't know yet. Don't know yet. And the DVD player is mounted in this cardboard shell. The player itself, nicely packaged. It's uh, a very good size. It's um, got some protection on it so it won't get scratched. And um, push the button open right there. And I'm going to open the other package up to see what's in here now. And the contents of the box um, with the, the cable to connect it to your um, TV, the AC adapter in the house, the car adapter for the car. Now luckily our new car has uh, lots of uh, lots of these in it so I don't have to worry about that. I also have a, a portable power supply for the car that plugs into the adapter that turns into AC if I need it. The um, remote control is full function, it came with batteries and um, there's like I said, French and Spanish instructions as well as English. Mounted on the back of the seat, um, you put the DVD player into the bag and strap it over the seat like that. And that cable came with it as well. Oops, where it is? There it is. Well, here's the case mounted in the bag. It's quite neat. It'll fit on the back of the, the car seat so there won't be in the way of anybody. And uh, I'll let you know how this works when I come back from a vacation. And I'll put this video together and give you my impressions. If it doesn't meet our needs, it'll be going back, but uh, right now it uh, looks pretty good. Thanks for watching so far. Okay guys, I'm going to do a, a video load test, see how long it takes. I put a DVD in, and it's Toad. a Toy Story 3, and let's turn the power on. The assistant is back. My assistant is back. His Toad. name is Toad. He's going to help fill up the time it takes for the... got Okay, sick. excuse me, I'm going to close the lid. There's a button, not a button, you push here. Close the lid, and now the disc, you can hear it spinning. And we'll see how long it takes to load up. And Toad, do you have anything to say for yourself? This is the one you're taking over to Pete. You, uh, this is the one you're taking on vacation. Yes. Yoshi got sick. Yoshi so, got sick. So Toad's he asked in. me to substitute. Okay, almost there. Still loading. Play. Okay, now I can push the play button. Okay, I did something Toad. there. That didn't take too long to load up, son. Uh, so far, 40 seconds from the time I pushed the button. And uh, where is the video? That was Kirby talking. I forgot what you were, did you? Okay, English, push play. Okay. And now we're going to have the video come up, and I have to stop as soon as it starts because it's copyrighted for Toy Story. And say goodbye, Toad. Mm. He's going to be going in a second. Mm. Video's still loading. Here we are into a minute and ten seconds now. We still haven't watched the video. Yawn. Yawn. Maybe half Yawn. Of Halfway downtown when this before this gets a video on. Still playing. Come on, play. Here we are a minute and thirty seconds, still no video. Come on, any more comments, Toad? Is this taking forever? <laughs> oh, the screen's going to focus on. Wow, this is taking a long time for a DVD to load. I know it's taking a long time, but what's the problem? Yawn. Hmm. Play, 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 play. Oh, there it comes. Okay, now there's a Disney 
shot up to the screen, so that's all I can show you now. Thanks for watching. That was two minutes to get a video well, started. We've had the uh, DVD player now for a couple of weeks, and we took it on a vacation with us, and everything worked well. I'm pleased with it. We're going to keep it. It's the RCA. Pretty cool when the uh, power's on. This light's up on the back, so it looks pretty neat. And the only thing we didn't have any use for was the bag. We tried to mount it in the car, and it was so high and so close to the the, the driver, the passenger seat that uh, we couldn't actually use it. It was too close to the person's face who was watching the video. So that's going to be just a storage bag for the DVD player and some accessories. It'll never be, ever be used in the car to hold it. It sits on the lap. The remote control works perfect. The sensor's right here in the front. So when you go to make sure you use it, you have to point it at it. So you can't hold it up here and hope something's going to change. You have to hold it over here to make sure it's going to change. But we like it. It's a Blu-ray player. It takes a while to load Blu-ray, over two minutes sometimes. But at regular videos only takes about 35 seconds or so. It's, it's a keeper. Thanks for watching, guys. Yay!